Uh, hi, my name's Alex Stewart. I run the props department here at the Sydney Theatre Company. Uh, a rain system has three components. You know, you need a supply of generally water, but you could make it whatever you want. You could, you could rain blood if you wanted to, but generally it's water when you're talking about rain. So you need a water supply um, at some sort of pressure. Now that could be as simple as uh, a tap. The second component is a delivery system. If you want an analogy, the delivery system would be the shower head in your shower at home. In uh, this production that we're building at the moment in St. Joan, I have essentially built a really big shower head, which is this unit here that you see here. The third component is where the water goes. It can be as simple as you just capture the water in a bucket under the stage, you know, if it's a little bit of rain. If you're talking about a lot of rain, then you need that water to go somewhere. The best idea is to have a slight rake on the stage, um, and just as rain hits your roof and falls down the rake and into the gutter, you just have a gutter on the front of the stage that collects that water and sends it wherever to take care of. In a system of this size, we bring in the big guns. We bring in a big tank with a big pump that can pump water all the way up to the grid and then over to where this unit hangs above the stage. In St. Joan, the actors are gonna be in the rain, so that tank is heated tank. So we're pumping heated water up into the grid, across and down to this unit, which is rigged 14 metres or 15 metres above the stage. Once the water comes in through this point, it comes out to the edges and it splits and goes around through all of these points here that you can see. Now all of these units are electrically controlled solenoids. It's basically a, a valve for water. When the whole system is pressurised, you've got water all the way up to this point in all of these points around. At a particular queue in the show, whenever that is, you can actuate all of these solenoids and you'll get water entering out of the little nozzles here at all of these points around. On this one here, we've got 16 points on the outside and we've got four points on the inside. When you build for theatre, often it's not about naturalism. Sometimes it's about something a bit more specific. At the delivery points, we can, we can essentially sculpt the shape of the rain by utilising different nozzles where the water exits. And they could be tiny little things like this, or right up to monsters like that. The nice thing about these nozzles is that they come in all different sort of sizes and all different sort of shapes and all different sort of capacities. So you can sculpt the shape of the rain. You can regulate the amount of water that's uh, being thrown out and you'll have to collect on the stage. And most importantly, you can regulate the drop size, the droplet size. If you go with something like uh, these beautiful things here, they throw out a hell of a lot of water and they're really big, droplet size. Now it looks great when it hits the ground and all that sort of stuff, but really, really tricky to light. If you use very small heads like that, you get a nice soft fan pattern. You've got a lot uh, smaller particles, a lot easier to light, and it looks great. Now, of course, you can mix that up as well, so you get elements of both in it.